Tempton in Tipton County may serve as a living tribute to his ancestors. 24 Hour News Ace Jim Shella is here with more in the efforts to preserve the Dunham House. Jim? Mike, the president's mother, Ann Dunham, was born and raised in Kansas, but her grandfather moved there from Indiana. And a historic preservationist is now at work reconstructing some of the Obama family history here. This was two bedrooms um, at one time. Sean Clements loves showing off the Dunham House, a 19th century farmhouse that he purchased in 2004 with the idea of preserving it so that he could live here. When a neighbor told him to research the home's ownership, he got a big surprise. This is a copy of a land grant that shows the property was settled by Jacob Dunham in 1840. Jacob Dunham is Barack Obama's great, 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 great grandfather. He is one of 11 Obama ancestors buried here at the Kempton Cemetery. And when word of the research got back to Barack Obama, he came to a potluck dinner at the home just days before the 2008 May primary election. Clements later got tickets to the Obama inauguration and to an inaugural ball. This stopped being my house a while back. Now with White House photos hanging on the wall, the preservation project has taken on new meaning and focus. Clements is seeking contributions and partners for what he hopes will become a nonprofit foundation. He supported Obama in 2008, but says this is not about politics. You know, I do historic preservation. It's, it's about history for me. Um, if it would have been anybody else's house, you have that obligation as a preservationist to, to restore it, whether it was George Bush's house or Hillary Clinton's house. 1969 was the last time that it was occupied? By Dunham. Tours are already available. The Dunham House was actually built by Barack Obama's great uncle, Riley Dunham, who was also a politician. He served in the Indiana General Assembly. And Barack Obama is not the first president to visit the house. That was Grover Cleveland. Senators hit the airwaves after their...